in uh, this tutorial today uh, I want to show you some trick in order to be able to import your uh, CSV file. Let's suppose you get some kind of dummy knowledge graph defined by uh, your CSV file. What does this mean? Let's have a look at this example. So let's say you get uh, a knowledge graph or kind of some triplet or more than a triplet, uh, like in this case, defined by some entities and relationships. Uh, hotel has room, room has bathroom. That, so this is a very basic example. And what you want to do is to um, import it uh, into a Neo4j uh, database or instance. Um, and for this, you need some Cypher query. The thing is, uh, you will see uh, uh, later on in the middle, probably in the middle of the video, uh, what the thing that you need to set up to make it happen. So let's start quickly with uh, a new 4J. Um, let's open new 4J desktop. And um, of course, you need to install it. Uh, if you haven't done it yet, um, you can go and check the website and get your installation ready for this. Um, here, what we are going to do is to create a, a project. And uh, in this project, you can add a local database management system. And of course, you need some password, type in whatever you want, and then create. This is taking some couple of seconds. Um, I'm not a, an expert of performance and how quick this runs, but uh, let's wait just some couple of seconds and then get started. So then you click on start uh, and then this is starting. And uh, what we're going to do next is, of course, to open the instance and uh, try to write type in some cipher query. And of course, let's open uh, the instance and see what is the main challenge when trying to import a CSV file. So let's begin with typing in load uh, CSV with headers from, and then here you need to uh, put in your, um, your path. Your path is locally, but before, the path you need a uh, file dot uh, file and then these three slashes and then of course your uh, path uh, like c um, etc c c path um, and then you can define it as row and um, you need to define the entities merge um, then you we have for example let's say e1 entity um, entity then define here we have name uh, defined by the value of the row um, located with its column entity one and etc we got three columns uh, three entities so let's copy and paste and just change um, this one to two this other one to two and uh, here we got e3 and oops E three and we have here the uh, the three again. Then we get to uh, define the relationships, which is almost straightforward. Also, so we get the E one into brackets, and then we get uh, these relationship R one relationship. Um, then the type of the relationship is defined by the value of the row at column rel1. So this is rel1, and here we got e2. So this is e2, and another copy and paste to save time, and just change the 2 to 3 here in this case. <coughs> and we got relation two, and this is R two, the second relationship, and this is this is E two. 
and um, yeah we got to not forget this one and just execute the code now we are we are facing a new dot client error statement external resource failed so this is almost saying i can't upload the csv file what we got to do in this case is to close this instance go here these three points and click on settings and here we can just say we comment this out we go to the security line and add this uh, uh, line which is basically dbms.security and then dot allow csv import from file urls equals true and then apply automatically since we got uh, our instance started we can we just got to restart it so uh, here we click just click on close and we can already see that the instance is stopping now um, until it stops it needs also to restart so this might take some some seconds so this is starting now and um, we will open the um, the instance again all right this looks good just click on open again and we are here in our instance and we will take the same the same cipher query again with our csv file and just click on play and tada we get our um knowledge graph or supposed knowledge graph here uploaded and here you can see the entities uh which you can already recognize uh, in the CSV file if you've paid attention to the content. So this is this is pretty it. So this is it. I mean, uh, there is uh, of course the possibility to uh, extend uh, the uh, the knowledge graph. Um, I have not tested the limit of the CSV, but you get it. Importing a CSV file from your local machine might be challenging and this little trick saved me so much time if you got other ideas of course critics feedback or anything please just let me know about it in the comment section below i will be more than happy to exchange with you guys uh, thank you for paying attention uh, in this episode of what i've learned today and uh, yeah see you hopefully in the next time Thank you.